Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 263. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IBPS, etc. I'm Ritwisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which among the following is called the greatest hallmark of personal liberty? The correct answer is habeas corpus. So habeas corpus is a recourse in law through which a person can report an unlawful detention or imprisonment to a court and request that the court order the custodian of the person, usually a prison official, to bring the prisoner to court to determine whether the detention is lawful. So it prevents uh, citizens from getting arrested randomly without due procedure. Who among the following appoints the chairman of State Public Service Commission? Correct answer is governor. So a State Public Service Commission comprises of a chairman and other members appointed by the governor of the state. One half of the appointed members of the commission should have held office for at least 10 years, either under the government of India or under the government of a state. The members of a State Public Service Commission in India can be removed on the ground of misbehavior only after an inquiry has been conducted by which of the following? Correct answer is the High Court. Uh, however, the Chairman of the Union Public Service Commission can only be removed by the President on orders of the Supreme Court. In which language a Member of Parliament can express himself or herself in the House? Correct answer is either Hindi, English or their mother tongue. Uh, so, the Indian Constitution draws a distinction between the language to be used in parliamentary proceedings and the language in, we, in which laws are to be made. So, parliamentary business according to the Constitution may be conducted in either Hindi or English, uh, but a person or member of parliament may speak in either Hindi or English or their mother tongue, in which case uh, usually someone to translate what they are saying in their native language is provided so that the rest of the members can understand what points they are putting across. Members of Nagar Palika or municipality are elected for a period of how many years? Correct answer is 5 years. So in India, most elected offices, almost all elected offices are held for a time period of 5 years. Uh, the Nagarpalika is no different. The members of the Nagarpalika are elected representatives for a term of 5 years. During the reign of Guptas in North India, who were their contemporaries in South India? So their contemporaries were the Rashtrakutas. So Rashtrakuta was a royal dynasty ruling large part of the Indian subcontinent between the 6th and 10th century. The earliest known Rashtrakuta inscription is a 7th century copper plate grant detailing the rule from Manapura, a city in central or west India. Ponar Ashram is related to which of the following social activists? Correct answer is Vinoba Bhave. So Ponar Ashram was founded by the great social reformer and activist Acharya Vinoba Bhave for the treatment of leprosy patients. Hindi poet Jagannath Pandit Raj was the most favorite poet of which of the following emperors? Correct answer is Shah Jahan. So uh, he was a famous poet and literary critic who lived in the 17th century during uh, Mughal reign. The Second World War commenced in 1939 on which of the following dates? Correct answer is September 1st. So World War II, which is also known as the Second World War, was a global war that lasted from 1939 to 1945. The vast majority of the world's countries, including all the great powers, eventually formed two opposing military alliances, the Allies and the Axis. The Allied powers won against the Axis powers. The buildings in Fatehpur Sikri are built by using mostly which of the following? Correct answer is redstone. So, uh, these buildings are mostly made of red stone. Fatehpur Sikri is in fact a small city in northern India, just west of Agra and was founded by a 16th century Mughal emperor. So, these buildings are mostly made of red stone. However, there are some mar marble work in the uh, facade. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.